Hey everyone, this is Sybil. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. I did. My husband was here for three days. He headed back to Texas on the way back. One of his new tires blew out. He just recently got brand new tires for our SUV. And on the way back to Texas, one blew out. So a 12 hour trip ended up being a much longer trip because he had to be towed. It happened um, in the night and where he was at, the station was way far away. He tried to change the flat, the tire completely blew out. Um, there was hardly anything left. And um, the flat, his spare was flat because as he was putting it on the stem where you pump the air into the spare tire was bent. It was completely like broken. So he's not sure how that had happened, um, but he ended up getting towed. They took him to a station. They got the stem replaced on the spare and got him on the road. But yeah, he ended up getting into Waco, Texas the next morning. So yeah, but thank the Lord. He's safe and sound. He did go to work on Monday. He just went in a few hours late. His boss was really understanding about that. So yeah, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I stayed on keto and I actually lost weight. I didn't gain any weight, so I'm real happy about that. For those of you that don't know, I am doing the ketogenic lifestyle and I reached my first goal before Thanksgiving, which was 25 pound loss. Now I'm working on my second goal and I got up this morning and I lost more weight. So super happy about that. Okay, um, what you see in front of you are some projects that I did for polka doodles. And before Thanksgiving, after giving it a lot of thought and consideration, I let the owner of Polka Doodles, Nikki, know that I was going to step down from the design team. I enjoyed coloring these adorable stamps, working with her digital images as well as regular stamps, digital papers and all of that. And the design teams, they so many amazing crafters and really supportive, but I decided that um, it just was getting to be a bit much for me personally. And the reason is <clears throat> I'm a very slow paper crafter. I like to put a lot of detail and thought into my cards and I'm probably slower than most people um, might think I am, but I, I really am a slow paper crafter. And so even though we, you know, you're required to do um, like two cards a month and then um, write on the blog and share your projects and then also reply to comments left on the craft challenge blog, that's all doable. But then there were new releases and as a design team member, you know, you want to participate in those new releases, so you create projects for those too. And after a while, those add up to quite a bit of projects that you're working on. And I realized that because I'm a slow crafter, I just did not have time for other paper crafting. Um, and if I did, it was very limited. So I stepped down. I still have my stamps um, and my dies that I will be using from Polka Doodles because these images are so stinking cute. But yeah, I just went ahead and stepped down. I think for certain design teams, I'm probably a better fit as a guest designer. Um, and then other teams, they I've been on teams where they require you to make four cards a month and that's it. And that's so easy and so do doable for me. And that's, you know, that's a good fit for me too. But I did learn a lot while I was on the design team. I learned how to do different things that I've never known how to do before, computer wise. And um, so yeah, it was a great learning experience. Made some wonderful friends over there. So yeah, all right. So I thought I would share these because these are gonna go out in some happy mail. One of the last, um, projects that were we were re 
required to make was a gift and we needed to use craft card stock and then ribbon. So what I did was I used the same image. It's Winnie with the lantern and um, I used that image on a little card, on the gift bag, and then on these ornaments. And because it's a digital image, you can resize it. So there are the ornaments. I Copic colored each one of the images. And I love pink and blue for Christmas colors. I just think they work so beautifully together. So there's my, you can see the craft card stock. And I have a video and I will link it um, in the description box, I might put a card up here on the screen that you can go to after this video. And then I'll try to remember to put it at the end where I show how to create these ornaments. Not specifically these particular ones, but how to create Christmas ornaments. So when I was done with those, I added a little pink bow and a blue bow, and I put a die cut um, snowflake in the center and then put a cord, blue cord on this one and a pink one, a mauve one on that so they can hang up on the tree. And then I made a little card and I, again, the same image, but I made it even smaller and then colored it. And it says Merry Christmas. That's a Popo Doodles die right there. And then I made a gift bag to put the ornaments in. So there's the same image and I put the sentiment heartfelt wishes. This uh, snowflake is a die um, from Polka Doodles. Same with uh, um, Lacey Poinsettia. That is a die. I think there's three dies in that set and they're so beautiful. I layered them together and then I used some stickles and then dipped the pieces into each, um, uh, what I mean by pieces, each layer into diamond dust. So it really sparkles. I put a star in the center. You can see how it sparkles. I put a little star here and one there and a doily back here, did some layering. I cut out um, some glitter paper in blue and made a double bow and then put some a bling center there. So I really love how that all turned out. And then my last card for as on the design team was this one. Really cute little image. They're exchanging gifts. There's Winnie the bear. I'm not sure if this is like a penguin. Um, little puppy and a little kitty cat and they all have presents and it says Merry Christmas from our house to yours and then I used some digital paper from Polka Doodles and I cut a couple strips and I made a little bow, a little layered bow and I put a little button for this center. So those are my projects and then um, just a couple of things. While my husband was here, he I've been using the same iPhone going on I think three years and it was getting so bad that I was having to charge it two times, sometimes three times a day. So he went and bought me an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I am so excited and then he went out and picked out this beautiful case for it. He knows I love coach purses, and so this is from the coach brand. So, so pretty. I love their perfume too. So he got me that, and then I went to Amazon, and I bought this, and you might think, what is that? Well, this will go onto my coloring desk. I'll, um, you know, it's got this on there, and you fit it onto your desk, and you tighten it up, and then it has this big arm, which is flexible. And I can then put my iPhone in here, like that. And I can film while I am coloring. So that is something I want to start doing, is filming. And um, then, you know, use like iMovie 
and set it to music, speed it up, and then I can share some of my coloring with you. I get a lot of requests to share how I color, so I thought that would be really great because that, the phone um, camera is absolutely fantastic. High definition and wonderful pixel count and everything, so I'm excited for that. I also picked up a couple of more things on Amazon. I picked up two more of the Inner Design freezer bins. Now I have one of these already with all my stamps and dies. Um, well, it's mainly stamps and then coordinating dies in one of these. And so I have all my Christmas stamps and dies in several different bins and then the same with my autumn. So I bought two of these so I can get them more organized. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do all Christmas in one and then all the rest of the holidays in the other, or if I'm going to, I'm leaning towards that, or if I'm going to just put, you know, names, uh, brand names, I don't mean necessarily brand names, but the brands and then label it like, you know, holiday, um, all occasion, birthday, things like that. So, but once I get that organized, I will show you. It'll take me a while. And then <clears throat> I think it was my last video I shared, or maybe it was the one before that, that I shared that I had ordered some Purple Onion Designs stamps from Stacy Yakula and that I had ordered from Purple Onions a couple of Purple Onion Designs. Um, a couple of their mounting like blocks that you can fit into your Misty because all of their stamps are on red rubber. And I ordered those, but they, they are not going to come in until around the end of December. So I went ahead, broke down, and I bought some more, you know, easy mount, clean foam, static clean foam, static clean mounting foam. There you go. So two of these came in. I already had one that I've used and I've got some orders coming in. I will share those with you from Doodlebug's Wa. It's mainly Lawn Fawn I ordered from them. Same from scrapbook.com. I think it's all Lawn Fawn. And then I've got another order from Purple Onion Designs coming in. I'm so excited. I love those stamps. Oh, and my Hello Bluebird Designs came in. Hello Bluebird stamps, not designs. So I will share all of those with you in the upcoming days. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and that you enjoy a wonderful week of paper crafting. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.